So, Vipassana, um, it's crazy. Um, it's very ignorant of me to think that I'll just be going somewhere nice um, uh, on the mountainside uh, for 10 days, go offline, surrender my phone and just lying on the ground enjoying the blue skies and all that. Um, but to learn and um, such a technique and um, knowing the context around it is just um, it's very liberating and I'm like I wasn't disappointed at all um, so anyway what is the what is this vipassana technique um, so I did 10 days and the first three days is basically observing your breathing so remember how I said like my friend um, talk about oh you go there and you do nothing it's not really wrong per se um, because um, apparently this meditation technique is um, quite particular um, in a sense that um, a lot of other um, other students who were there who who you can tell they've been meditating a lot it's like um, in their blood or something um, they they they're actually struggling as well because um, vipassana technique actually um, tells you not to um, interfere with anything really um, and rather just observe your breathing so do you know how sometimes um, I think some technique tells you to uh, regulate your breath and this and that um, there's not no such thing with, with vipassana um, so the first three days is basically groundwork before you actually tap into the vipassana technique itself um, what you do is just observing your breathing um, trying to um and i think this is actually the bit where you raise the awareness um for the first time or, or at least for me like big time to just sit there for like a whole hour and all you do is just like making sure like oh am i breathing breathing with my left nose my right nose and this and that and it's like oh uh, like uh, and obviously you don't stop breathing so like you're supposed to like keep focusing on that for the whole hours and then your mind started wandering and it's just crazy it helps you to concentrate a lot though um it's a very good brain exercise i think um but yeah uh so you're doing that for three days pretty much um and then the four days is um and this is the only day where your timetable throughout the 10 days is um different uh because this is the first day that they actually um teach you the vipassana technique itself um where you start um uh not just observing your um not not observing your breathing again but now trying to start feeling sensations so i think um in general um in my head the idea is um your whole body um from head to toe is full of um energy um full of sensations in that sense so um you are being taught to um those three days was a groundwork for you to be able to feel all of the sensation all over your body um, and um, the next big part um, is to learn how not to react to those sensations and that's basically um, the big 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 part of um, the whole vipassana meditation um, because they were um, um, so you have a you have a like a what they call it discourse it's not really a talk it's, it's a discourse to um explain to the students at the end of the day um every night um why you're doing such thing um throughout the day because every day there's uh, extra instructions a little bit more a little bit more so they tells you like oh why you're doing that is because of this and that um so as part of that talk they um they're basically saying that um human being are miserable because our own um, our own doing in a sense that um, they they're saying when you feel a sensation and you start reacting and um, if you're um, if it's a pleasant sensation you're liking it you start generating um, generating what they call um, craving because like oh this is good I want it more I want it more I want it again um, Meanwhile, obviously, if you're feeling pain, um, uh, you start getting like agitated, you don't like it, like I want to get rid of it, I want to get rid of it. 
and in both sides of the coins whether you're liking it and you want it more 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 or you're hating it and you want to get rid of it, get rid of it all the time um that's what makes humans uh, miserable in their life um and if you're able to switch that and switch that off and actually just being objective and just observing everything um then you you live a happier life um yeah and um i'm probably not um i'm probably not explaining i'm not explaining it as cute as how um the teacher which was um going car um talking about it but like it was just very logical in my head i'm like hey that's 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 right like people can understand that but at the same time such a talk up there like such a wise person to be able to um to be able to switch that off i think i think it takes a lot of wisdom because um because you you were given such knowledge which i think is like oh crazy if this knowledge is true and it is so powerful if only everyone can accept it and start doing it like can you imagine what kind of life human beings are having is like is this just crazy um but yeah no i think i'm still trying to get my head around it as well but this burning things inside me i just want to like uh tell people about like what it is um for now how i understand it hopefully um hopefully i can stay committed in um practicing this um and hopefully i can um learn a bit more and share it more with you guys as well um but yeah um i'm i'm still very new this still feel very fresh in my head but if you guys do want to read a bit more about it um just just be sure that you know when you go there for 10 days it's not like doing nothing nothing when i um it's a lot of work but um it's very um good it's a very um worth t- worth it i guess worth the time um but anyway um have a look at oh this is gonna be bad because it's um flipped the other way but um anyway it's called um it's vipassana meditation if you google it the first um website's gonna show up um it's their website i'm pretty sure um but it's called just in case it's called dhamma which is um so www.dhamma.org and dhamma is spelled d-h-a-m-m-a dot o-r-g um and yeah you can um, read a bit more about it find out if there's a site around you um don't expect like it's not one of those fancy uh, retreat where you're like you're given like organic food um and you're like um eating all of this um i don't know um uh, very fancy bowl of salad or and doing yoga you're not even allowed to do yoga by the way um you're not allowed to exercise um just so that you don't disturb others um you were asked to stop um if you have any rituals um of your own beliefs just for those 10 days um just so you don't i guess um i mean for some people it might be a big ass but um for me i, I do understand because like oh if you see someone practicing 